Gonna hop this bomb once again, but that goo is gonna force him off through here once again, just trying to bait all this utility in. Hybrid finds one. This is a 1v1. This is very, very winnable. He can't knows where he is. He oh. finds it. He has plenty of... Shuts every one of them down. That's a full team kill. That was that. He's looking for a third. Oh. He's gonna get it, sir. Against Kinger now in a one versus two. Once again, he finds one. He finds the second. He's still alive. Can he go in? Oh, oh my goodness. God. He's gonna go bar down. Give Saints the lead again. Hello, Saints and Nation, and welcome to some Collegiate Rocket League. My name is Jackson the Fry Brown, joined alongside John Billabang Zwedima. And uh, it's going to be a good game today. I mean, we got Collegiate Rocket League. I'm so, so excited. Week one, kicking things off. Both teams 1 0. John, how are you feeling about this one? I always love watching CRL. I love casting CRL. It's so exciting to see these top tier teams play against each other. St. Clair was actually popular, ranked third in the CRL East. Or, sorry, I was, it was actually second it was. in the CRL East. So or third. No, pretty, third. Pretty high standards regardless of where it is and uh they did end up winning the first series yesterday on the crl stream 3-0 against rochester institute technology and today they're playing against seton hall so it should be interesting to see if they can keep the ball rolling yeah, so Seton Hall actually did win their first game as well. Not as dominant fashion as the Saints did. It was a 3-2 victory. I can't quite remember exactly who it was against, but 3-2 regardless. And Seton Hall came in to the CRL event as a four seed compared to the Saints three seed. So this is almost as close as it gets. I mean, yeah. realistically, this is going to be a great game. We were talking a little bit about it behind the scenes saying, you know, this is some of the best series as we get between Seton Hall and St. Clair. So it's going to be a great game. So I would be surprised if we don't see a game four, game five. If this yeah. is a 3-0, I'll be shocked. I, I will be too. And I mean, it's really exciting to see these guys come together. We saw how good they were last semester for Jay Comp and Spoods. They get another chance in semester number two to try and prove again how dominant they can be. And I mean, they had a middling record in the last CRL season, so we'll see how they can do here. But we're going to get started off already. Game number one, Seton Hall University against St. Clair College here. Game number two of the CRL season. Yeah, so Seton Hall is going to be in the blue where St. Clair in the orange. As for the set of Seton Hall, you do see you got Stokely, you got Tone, and I can't quite see the last player as of quite yet, but it is going to be the side of Seton Hall starting off on the offense. A big shot onto the net from Tone as Jay will be there for the save, and Froze will be that last player coming Ooh. through. Stokely with one early on for Seton Hall, a 1-0 lead. The Saints will fall down early. Now they got to recover, John. Yeah, just a missed rotation there on the backside, and already that's not good. Just 25 seconds in, already a lead here for Seton Hall and St. Clair. You got to make sure you're on your toes here. It's only a three. You only got you know three games to try and shut them out here to try and take the series. You got five if it goes length, but you want to try it in three. And with the goal already on the board for Seton Hall, St. Clair oh. definitely ought to clean it up. Jay with just missing there on the side, and of course not able to take advantage of that. Yeah, so it, he's going to leave it back into Seton Hall's possession. Froze trying to get in the corner, but Tone is quick to keep that one in play. St. Clair, Spoods for the deflection, and a follow-up shot from Comp will go off the side and a center, but Spoods not able to get that one on target as it's now going to be sent into the sky from Tone. Tone playing this one around midfield. Stokely, big hit. It's going to be bouncing in front of the Saints net and just wide from Stokely. Stokely had a chance there. Wasn't able to put it on. My player to watch this series is going to be Jay. Actually on fire yesterday. Scored a zero second goal to seal the series 3-0 sweep for St. Clair and hoping to see some more of that in this one. Shot going to come through. Nice save there by Comp. Demo on the backside wasn't enough to get that one through, but a couple of early opportunities for Seton Hall here have looked pretty good for them so far. Yeah, so about 90 seconds into the series, and we haven't seen a whole lot of good shot opportunities from the Saints yet. Still lots of time to go, but you'd like to see this offensive pressure getting going here soon. You know, the offense is what wins Saints these games, and uh, they really have to get that going here soon. Now, this could be a little bit of an over-rotation, but Jay will save the day deflecting that one off to the corner. Froze will pick it up and send it sky high, but Comp is going to be quick to deflect once again. St. Clair got to turn this one into some sort of a offensive play. Yeah, they haven't really been able to hold that ball up past midfield. They keep dumping it into the offensive zone, and SHU there to recover it, trying to get it towards. Tone going to beat one, going to have it up in the corner. Maybe looking for a pinch here, but Comp going to be their answer and push it back towards the side. And uh, It's an interesting. The first couple of minutes here, it's been a lot of Jay on the backside playing this third man in the oh. defensive rotation, not really playing this aggressive kind of player that we like to see. So interesting to see they've gone for a little bit of a change up there, giving Spoots more of an offensive role, see how it turns out in the rest of the series. 
Yeah, that's going to be right off the top roof and almost in. Going to hit off the top corner and it, we do have Tone coming through, trying to find a shot, but going to go off the post. Spoods will be able to take that one away. Now Seton Hall on the back foot. Tone going to go for a clear. Comp is quick to make it back to their zone. And now Comp trying to play for this one in front of the net. Will find himself an opening. Maybe a little bit of an over-rotation from Seton Hall, but they are able to recover. And now Spoods to keep this one in that Seton Hall territory. St. Clair has Comp down quite a lot. They're getting their opportunities now. They're taking that ball up themselves through the midfield looking to try and find these setup plays. Spoods with a shot on net here. It's going to go right in. What an angle from Spoods. Finds the first goal of the series here for St. Clair College. A beautiful pass there from the midfield and Comp and Spoods putting it home. Yeah, that is a beautiful team effort play coming through. The pass is what makes that play work out so perfectly. He reads that his teammates up there, and that's the chemistry coming into effect. That's the scrims. That's the constant time spent playing together coming through, and it is going to result in St. Clair now tying up this game with only two minutes left. It's a good time to allow yourself to, you know, maybe find another one here, take an advantage. There's a shot on the net from Spoods. Tone will be deflecting that one away. Comp on the demo, and Froze will be here to send that one over to St. Clair's zone, and Comp will be there to deflect it off, but Regardless, St. Clair tying this one up. Very big plays. Ooh, a nice pass here. Tone just not going to be able to get that one in the net, though. A good try on an answer from SHU. Just not able to find the back net. But Spoods already a second opportunity there a couple seconds ago. Almost able to find the back net. And St. Clair is heating up here. A minute 40 left. Still a lot of time for both these teams to think about how they want to take this last 90 seconds into effect. But St. Clair definitely on the forward foot right now. It looks so good in these last couple of minutes. Comp, nice clear out. But Tone with a chance to put it towards the middle but Comp can be there to answer again. Yeah, so Comp will be here in the corner, still trying to get this one away. We have Tone coming in here, gonna send it up in the sky as it is quickly deflected. Stokely on the ground, sending this one over around midfield. Comp kind of come up and now keeping this one in offense. We only have about 70 seconds here remaining, so things are kind of coming down to the wire. The next Ooh, goal will mean Jay. a lot. Jay finding it. Another pass from Comp and a beautiful team play once again. You do see Tone taking it through here. Comp going to send it up, and Jay was just there in the opening. Stokely not able to get there in time to stop the play. St. Clair will take a last-minute lead with just 78 seconds on, or 68 seconds on the clock. Throws just out of reach for that save. Beautiful shot placement by Jay there. And just a good opportunity there. They took the 50-50. They end, St. Clair ended up winning it. And Jay able to take that and turn it into a goal. And now with the one goal lead with a minute remaining, SHU on the back foot here has got to try and find some offense because St. Clair's been putting on a lot of pressure here. There's been a couple opportunities for Set Seton Hall, but not like the first couple of minutes. They got to try and find that fire they had at the beginning of the game and turn it into something here. Tone with a shot opportunity, but no, going to be turned away by Jay here. And with 43 seconds, Shots need to come through for SHU sometime soon. It's interesting. Will we? Oh, another one for St. Clair. That might seal the deal. John Spoods could have come through. Jay on the assist this time. Let's see how this one comes in. Jay will send it over to the midfielder. Just a perfect spinner. Spoods going to be there with the back tires of his car. We'll put that one top left. And a two-goal advantage with 38 seconds remaining. And a low-scoring game will really put St. Clair ahead. Really give them advantage. And now it's all about Seton Hall. They're on the back foot. They have to find two goals and an average of one every 15 seconds. It will not be easy. And another shot. Shot on the net from St. Clair. Spoods looking for his hat trick goal here. Shot gonna come on net. Nice save there by Stokely on the goal line to keep it a two goal difference here. Froze with an opportunity to push it up. Try and get within one here. Pass through Froze. Gonna find that one off the goalie there. What an angle that Froze found. And that's gonna be now a one goal game with 18 seconds left. A nice shot from a close angle by Froze there. Barely found it, but that is gonna be a close game here. 18 seconds remaining. Can St. Clair hold on or was Heaton all force in overtime? Hey, the uh, ice-breaking goal explosion. Definitely fitting Froze's name there in that one. So yeah, Seton Hall now only trailing by one, like you were saying, is definitely going to put them in the position they need. They're going to commit to a triple commit offense here now, and they are going to try to find this opportunity. There is a player there. Stokely will find the top right corner with only six seconds left on the clock. Seton Hall will save themselves in this one. Tone and Stokely with the massive plays, and we are looking to head into overtime. What a comeback here by Seton Hall in game number one. Fighting two goals in the last 40 seconds here absolutely massive for them and now with only six seconds remaining overtime definitely looks possible but <gasps> comp with the opportunity here is zero, zero seconds left can he score this one off the back wall tries to find his teammate there strong gonna come through oh Spoon. my god Again. spoots finds the top corner seals the deal here the hat trick goal for this player absolutely unreal in this game number one i don't know how he finds these angles but man it is saving st Clair, and they will take game one of this series. What did I just watch? This is CRL. This is Rocket League. That was a banger of a game. St. Clair and Seton Hall not even going to overtime. Hey, man, I saw six seconds left on the clock. My face is red as a tomato. We're only into one game of the series. I mean, this is just bonkers here right now. That but 
That was absolutely unreal. Spoods, the second time in the game, yeah. he found some crazy angle on the side to give St. Clair a 4-3 win here. And absolutely phenomenal because all the momentum was in the side of Seton Hall, right? They scored two oh, goals sure. with 18 seconds left. They were all in the cusp of hitting to overtime. Spoods shuts the door on them, says, no, we're going to take this game number one. And you got to feel going into game number two that puts a lot more pressure on Seton Hall. Yeah, uh, so, so much. I mean, we talk about it, right? It's uh, a Rocket League, when you find game one, if you find game two, two, the, like, it's like, how hard is it to reverse sweep? It's so, so difficult in Rocket League. And it gives Sinkler such a one up in this series. Just having the first game is so big. Jay, Jay. come in. Big Deeks, not going to work out. Stokely will be there to shut down the play. But one thing I'm really noticing from St. Clair here in the series here in CRL is they're not playing as aggressive on the offense. They're keeping their rotations nice and tight, and they are also waiting for their opportunities to come in and make a play, not forcing the play to come through. It's really helping them here. They will find the win in game one last second. Uh, St. Clair is looking to find game two here now. 30 seconds in, they're going to have an offensive play. And I like Rocket League too because OJ oh, with a shot on net here, going to be denied by Tone. Off the top corner, Comp with an opportunity to pass back towards the middle. Spoon's going to be there, but going to be turned away. And I was going to say, so Rocket League, I really like it because a lot of the other games, right? Like you get out of it and you just have like this couple minute break between sets of games, right? But Rocket League, you're just 20 seconds after that crazy game number one. You're like, all right, we're going to the next one. We're starting up. And the emotions got to be running high for both of these teams right now. A minute in, no goal scored just yet, but a lot of chances for both sides. And uh, this series already a banger. Yeah, I, I mean, can you top that game one? That's the question. Like, they're going to be uh, fighting for these next four games to try to top that game one, but it is just not going to happen in my eyes, unless, you know, they mean to surprise me once again. But it is going to be Spoods deflecting that play, trying to send it to the corner. Froze going to scoop that one up, and ooh, Stokely coming in hot, but not able to find the connection on that play. Spoods actually going to send that one in. Tone going to take it out to the corner as Jay will be following up with a nice center, but Froze is quick to deflect, and it is going to be in St. Clair's zone. And once again, a low-scoring start. But we saw that last time, too. And in the last minute, we saw like three, four goals. Yeah, and I really like the, ad the adaptation here. They actually have rotated compact into this more defensive side of position. You have Jay and Spoods working together on the front line. We saw later on in that first game that it worked out really well. Oh, a nice save on the backside by Spoods off the post there. Still get a chance to come off the roof, but not gonna make contact with it. It will just drift. Gonna knock a player out of the way though. But Jay able to turn that one away. And right now, a lot of offensive pressure from Seton Hall trying to get this advantage here. Zero goals scored on both sides. So nobody quite found that breakthrough goal just yet, but you can definitely feel it's coming soon. Yeah, Seton Hall's looking to opt more for that gritty play style, trying to knock these goalies out of the way and try to find their own openings in that regard, but not going to work that easily in that first little bit. So now we're approaching a halfway marker in this game, and like you said, we don't have any like crazy big opportunities. We got a couple shots. There's a big one from Spoods, but Tone will be there for the defense. And uh, yeah, we just haven't really seen a whole lot of massive openings. We should see something soon as Stokely, with the assist from Froze, will connect onto the back of the net for Seton Hall to take a one nothing lead in this game yeah unfortunately jay and comp just a big double commit on the wall there left their teammate out to dry and shot came through nice tip in the middle by stokely that is going to be an advantage here and exactly halfway through this game we have our first goal a very low scoring affair so far and it's been definitely seton hall with a lot more opportunities to try and score goals saying mm -hmm. they're just kind of finding small ones here and there but not really finding any good momentum here and they're gonna have to try and find some offensive pushes here Shot going to come through, but Stokely with the save. And that's exactly what I was talking about. You know, in the uh, qualifiers and other leagues, everything like that, St. Clair will really try to force their own openings a little bit more than what I'm seeing in the CRL. They're, it, it's almost as if, I wouldn't say scared, but a little bit more hesitant to go for these riskier plays, just knowing, hey, this is the CRL. This is the big leagues. Like, this is where you really can't mess up, and you don't want to be the player that messes up in a play, right? So really just trying to play this one nice and safe and cautious and take their opportunities for granted and find those goals. But but now you, you got to change that up a little bit. Down to the last minute and 40 seconds, the pressure is starting to get put on. You're still trailing by one. You have to tie this one up here shortly. And that is exactly what St. Clair is looking to do right now. I think CRL too, it is a lot more of these really, really good teams can punish any kind of mistakes mm -hmm. you make, right? Especially we talked about fourth ranked Seton Hall coming into the season. They are a very, very good team. And any small mistakes that you make, you saw just one double <gasps> commit. Oh, a nice flip reset by Jay, but going to be turned away by Stokely. And, uh, any small opportunities that you can find, any small mistakes that you make, the other team is going to take full advantage of it. That's why both teams playing such conservative play style. Comp with a chance here. Going to pass towards the middle. Spoods going to go over the net there. Jay with an opportunity to put it back towards the middle. Tone can't make the save. Jay scoring the first goal of the game for St. Clair here. Going to tie it up with a minute and five remaining. Absolutely massive. Beautiful pass by Spoods. Jay with a nice finish over Tone. Just couldn't make it to that ball. And 
St. Clair, a good answer here. Just over a minute left. I feel like with these series, the last 90 seconds is when we're going to get the most of our action. Like, we are seeing these last 90 seconds. I'm expecting another banger. Spood's going to come through. Aggression shot. Froze will make it there for the save. So, St. Clair tying this one up. Massive plays, right? Like you were talking about. Uh, with now only 55 seconds remaining, this next goal for whoever scores it is going to have such a big impact on this game. Putting the other team in a disadvantage extremely. And the pressure is on for St. Clair here right now. They are going to be quick to clear, though. Uh, Stokely, he's been the player to watch for Ace. Ace Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Seton Hall. <laughs> Stokely has been the player to watch for them. They have been trying their absolute best, and Stokely's been finding a lot of openings. A great dribble there from Jade. Not going to work out, though. 32 seconds remaining in this game. Tied up. Both these teams trying to find this last-second goal. Spoods, nice pass off the roof, but going to be turned away by Stokely. Good defensive set here so far for Seton Hall. This last minute has been a constant offensive barrage for St. Clair, but they have been able to find an answer. A nice pinch out again. Stokely making a crucial save here, but 15 seconds remaining. They're going to have to try and get this towards the other end. St. Clair trying to find an opportunity here. 10 seconds left. Can they do this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be looking like overtime unless another last-second opportunity does come through. It's going to be St. Clair on the offense, but with Tone setting it towards midfield, it looks like this one might be a stalemate unless this side of Seton Hall can make a play right here, right now. Not going to be the case. We will see overtime here in Game 2, and there's no surprises. I knew no. we were going to see an overtime at some point in this series, uh, and I'm surprised it wasn't in Game 1, to be honest. Spoods with an opportunity here. Going to go off the back wall. Not going to get enough contact on it. Nice save by Froze. Able to get that one out to the corner. Jay with an opportunity. Going to go back towards the middle, and St. Clair converting that late pressure that they had at the end of regulation to this overtime already. A good opportunity that they found and Seton Hall really going to have to find something to start going because you see even the little offense that they get isn't really producing good quality chances. So St. Clair really have their foot on the gas pedal right now. We'll see if they can try and turn that into a goal and into a two game advantage here in the series. Yeah, that's the thing we were talking about, right? I mean, if St. Clair finds this next goal, it's not just one goal. It's a two-game advantage spoons. in the series. And that's one thing that we were, like, really discussing pregame is that a two-game advantage means so much for St. Clair right now. Spoots, a great try there. Not going to go as it's Stokely now taking it from the sky down, trying to make another one of those aerial plays. Not going to work out perfectly, but it is still hovering around St. Clair's zone. And not anymore. Comp going to translate that one to an offensive play. Jay on the back line. That's going to go off the crossbar. Stokely so close. Jay last second defense but oh my god eight says i can't say <laughs> seton hall is going to come through and try to stop that one comp with a shot bottom corner just quickly defended from stokely stokely knew exactly where that one was going tip gonna come through here nice save to push it out to by spoods Gall gonna be in this corner here can they pull it out froze gonna 50 50 that one up into the air jay with an opportunity here but seton hall has definitely been turning it around here they've been getting a couple of good offensive chances and St. Clair just haven't really been able to get some positive clears out here. Oh, it's going to get by one. Comp with a chance here. Going to go for the double tap. It's going to put it in the back of the net. That's going to be Comp scoring his first goal of the series. That's going to be St. Clair going to 2-1 here. Going to take a 2-0 lead in the series. Absolutely massive. Comp reading that perfectly. And now St. Clair on the brink of sweeping another series here in CRL. Yeah, after six and a half minutes, it's going to be St. Clair up 2-0 in the series. Like you said, looking for another sweep. If they can find two sweeps in a row, it would be absolutely massive here for them. And it'll really prove that, hey, we are up there with Northwood. We are the team to beat, and we are going to be competitive with them. Obviously, everybody in CRL is saying, okay, Northwood is the team to beat right now, right? St. Clair want to put their name in the hat with that Northwood squad. That's going to be 2-0 lead over Seton Hall. Another big overtime win. Well, I guess the other one wasn't overtime, but hey. Another big last-minute yeah. win, and it's going to now give them 2-0. Seton Hall's forced to reverse sweep. This is never an easy task. No, definitely going to be an interesting game here. And I, I think, for me, it's been these last-second goals that St. Clair have scored. It's just so demoralizing, right? Like, you get, especially that game number one, the fact that you scored two goals in the last 18 seconds, Spoots finds that crazy last-second goal. You see in overtime there a couple of good chances that SHU had, but Comp just found the right time. Found the right opportunity, was able to put that in the back of the net. And now you're going into game number three. You're down two. You have to reverse sweep. It's got to be on their mind. Shot going to come through here. Going to go in the back of the net. Jay finds that one in the top shelf here. Just 26, 24 seconds in here. And already early, early pressure for St. Clair. It's going to be tough for SHU. Yeah. I mean, for Seton Hall, that is a tough one to give up. Just 24 seconds into this game. St. Clair with a big, big opening. The demolition is what really made things work out. Now, what are the... Okay, okay, never mind. See numbers there. Okay, oh, but that is going to be Jay with another. That's going to be two. Just 29 seconds into this game. St. Clair going to be up massive right now. And, uh, I mean, Seton Hall, what do you do? You've been used to low-scoring games in the first four minutes that now St. Clair will open up with two big ones. They are really looking to close this one out in game three. 
three. Yeah, definitely taking that momentum they found in that overtime win and transferring here. Already two goal lead. It's it's looking tough for SHU because you got to start thinking about how you're going to make a comeback here. Not only do you have to come back from two goals in this game, but you got to come back in the series down 2 0 as well. So, Seton Hall, a lot of work to do, but a lot of time to do it. Four minutes still remaining. They. They can definitely do it here. It's going to be a tough task, though. So that's the big thing that, that they're keeping in the back of their minds. Hey, guys, we still have four minutes to make these plays happen. A good opening there, but Spoods will take out Tone and not allow that one to work out. Uh, but yeah, the four minutes is the big thing for Seton Hall right now that they're keeping in their minds. Uh, St. Clair still trying to build their lead, though. They are not holding back at any by any means necessary right now. They do no reason to. Uh, Spoods take it in front of the net. Will be a little bit scary, but quick for Jay on the flick. Looking for a third. He's got a hat -trick. hat trick. Just a minute and 14. And Jay is closing out this series. Seton Hall down 3-0 to St. Clair right now. St. Clair is looking to advance and now to that top two in the CRL. So it's all the emotions flooding in from those first two games. It's just simple mistakes that Seton Hall is making on their rotations, on the faceoffs. It's just small things, but you got to think it's been building up the last two games. You've just barely lost. And now St. Clair taking full advantage of them. I talked about earlier on. These really good teams like St. Clair, like Seton Hall, if you make small mistakes, they will take advantage of it. And right now, St. Clair taking advantage of every mistake Seton Hall is making. Jay already picking up a hat trick in this game just under a minute in. It's absolutely insane. It's so difficult because every game in this series so far has been so low scoring that with St. Clair already a three, it's really hard because you, you're typically not seeing high scoring games in the CRL in general. So for to have a three nothing lead, it's it's almost massive. Like it doesn't seal the deal, but it's pretty close to it as it is another big shot coming in from Comp. Like I was saying, St. Clair is finding opportunity after opportunity after opportunity in game number three. Comp with a big save, but Stokely will be here to knock it down. Do we have a rebound? No, St. Clair will be able to make the clear. And you see they have to go for these desperation plays. You, you're just going for this triple commits. You're throwing the ball in from the net, trying to hope somebody is going to get a tip in. But St. Clair on that lockdown defense, they're playing more dump and chase Rocket League right now. They're able to just force the ball into the other corner, try and waste as much time as possible because you built yourself up this 3-0 lead. Even if there is a mistake, Nate, even if you end up getting a defense cracked here somehow, it, it doesn't really matter because there's three goals that Seton Hall needs to find here in the next two minutes and 26 seconds. And it's going to be a tougher and tougher task as this game moves forward. You know, typically in CRL, I'd call a two-goal lead a pretty comfortable cushion. So to have three is exactly what you're talking about right there. Seton Hall can find a goal, and St. Clair's still not in a, a very concerned position. Uh, and with especially the amount of time they spent on attack in this game as well, they have oh, been keeping the pressure three. on. Jay going to find his fourth in this game, running up the score. That's going to be a big one there. Once again, just to help seal the deal even more, Jay just knocking it in. It's an open net. And this is because Seton Hall has to go for these more aggressive offensive plays committing all three players so when St. Clair does actually knock it out uh, it's going to leave an open net here for them hence another goal Jay look at him just find a fifth he is on some momentum burst right now we saw him in game number three of the last series score three he's looking for another uh, some more here already seven goals in game three is actually an incredible stat here Stokely going to find the first goal of this game for Seton Hall going to get right through the defense there and they are still down three but it is a good start for them and maybe a comeback could be on on the way if they can try and find some momentum but it's going to be a tough road still what happened to these low scoring games like where did they go we're already at five goals here in this one that was the final Sigler score didn't want it. they yeah. just didn't want those low scoring hey games. exactly right so here we go it is going to be a passing play up to comp looking to take it into the crease going to go up and high as jay looking to defend it stokely he's the player to watch if this is going to get turned around it is on stokely in my opinion uh seton hall have got to be uh, just making these big passing plays happen and breaking up the St. Clair defense. They can't just throw the ball at the net because it's not working out. Yeah, it's it's just tough for them right now because you only have a minute 25. you got to score three goals. And if you don't go for these big offensive plays, you're not going to be able to find opportunities, especially against a defense as good as St. Clair's. So all St. Clair has to do is just keep doing what they're doing. Dump the ball out, have one person go chase it, have two people stay back in rotation around midfield. Just make sure the ball crosses half as little as possible here. Just waste as much time because now a minute remaining here, Seton will need to find a goal sometime soon or else it's going to be curtains on this series. 
exactly. I completely agree with what you're saying. For St. Clair now, it's a dump and chase game. Uh, with a three goal advantage Ooh. with 50 seconds remaining, Ooh. it is going to be a big save from Jay. He's on both sides of the ball. Make it two saves in a row. Make it maybe even three uh, as Jay just completely shuts down that offensive play from Seton Hall. And yeah, just dump and chase if you're St. Clair. Look, they're going to get this ball in their zone. Spoods oh, nice play. is just going to be quick to try to send it away. It's going to be sent on a Stokely's car, but Spoods going to send it around and he is, might just be waiting and waiting and looking to send it in deep into the zone. Tone will intercept that one towards midfield though. Jay, quick to stop this one with only 25 seconds. I'd say this one might be pretty sealed up here, John. Yeah, not really any opportunities now with the ball dumped into the SHU zone. I think that is going to be it. And I know it was a 3-0 series, but I definitely think it was out closer than that. We saw last mm -hmm. second goal in the first game, an OT in the second one, St. Clair. Absolute domination in the beginning of this game, and that really turned the tide for them. Jay with the pass, and that is going to be Comp finding the back of the net there. Five to one, the scoreline here now. Eight seconds remaining. And Jay, you know, he didn't find his fifth goal there, but he definitely found a beautiful assist well, there onto Comp. And all credit goes to him in this game. Absolutely massive. Was there exactly when he needed to be. And, you know, I think St. Clair has this one in the bag. I cannot wait to see Jay's stat line. He's gotten his four goals. He's gotten at least one assist on that comp play, and he's gotten at least three saves. So, I mean, he's been on everywhere here on this field today. St. Clair, once this ball touches the ground, they will close this one up in 3-0 fashion, and that is going to be a 2-0 start to the CRL in week one here. We have one more game for this week, and that is going to be on Friday here. So, uh, regardless, Saints, big, big win, and they are just going to be up in the yeah. one. They're in their first I think they're tied for first it guaranteed yeah. for CRL a great great start here for them yeah I think for me everyone participated so much in this series you saw game number one game number two Spoods with some crucial goals game number two comp coming in with that last second one and everyone had such good games yet everyone kind of have their own bright star of a game and throughout the series and for St. Clair I mean 2-0 start and you just played you 3-0 swept the number four seed the one just below you so I think when you're looking forward to the rest of the CRL it's you got to be feeling good about it especially because you won that third game the first two it was close but that third one you won dominantly and it was you took advantage of the mistakes that they made and they were able to turn it into actual goals into opportunities and I know for the rest it's got to be looking scary for the rest of CRL now oh a hundred percent that's what I was meaning with the Saints finding two 3-0 wins in a row it really puts their name in the hat as the, yeah. one of the teams to beat right now. So an awesome 2-0 start to the league. They're looking to just keep moving forward with that in the continuous weeks. Uh, every single game is going to be a competitive game in the CRL. It, it's such a competitive league. Only eight teams are here in this division. So it, it is so, so competitive. I think each team plays each other once or maybe even twice. It, it's something I know they at least play each other once. Uh, yeah. But regardless, um, yeah, there's not much to say uh, besides yeah. a phenomenal start and that they, they return on Friday looking to go 3-0. Yeah, I think all credit does go to Seton Hall. They put up quite a fight oh, in those sure. first two games. Uh, yeah, that last, that first game, the fact that they had those two last-second goals, but St. Clair able to find some clutch moments when they needed to, specifically Spoods in the first game, Comp in the second one. And, I mean, Jay with four goals in that third game really cemented that victory. And I, I think that that just goes down as a statement win for St. Clair. You're starting off 2-0. You're starting off with two 3-0 sweeps. Like, sweeps. it is looking scary for the next couple opponents you got. Yeah, Jay just popped off yeah, in the game number three. Crazy. I was not expecting that. And, you know, before the series, I said I was going to be shocked if we didn't see game four and game five. Guess what? St. Clair yeah. proved me wrong. I am now shocked. But um, it is going to be St. Clair's conservative play style, mm -hmm. which has been really, really helping them here as of lately to just find their wins and um, just really play it. Because they know the CRL. We, we were talking about it. Any mistake is punishable in the CRL. Yeah. St. Clair knows this and is going to try to play a little bit more conservative and not allow those mistakes to come through. Uh, Big Saints win. And uh, maybe we talk a little bit about our sponsors and merch here now for a little bit. Oh, we got to talk about our giveaway first. Oh, Can't forget course, about that. So down at the bottom, you see the griff token there you will collect griff points by watching by interacting with the chat by clicking that little box icon beside it whenever it shows up if you get 3,000 of those you can submit an entry into our giveaway once per stream it will end on february 28th we will draw a name and you will be able to get any piece of saints merch that you want so definitely uh check that one out here and i mean I really want some Saints merch. I know you love Saints merch. But if you can't wait for your Saints merch, you can also go to acquire.ca slash Saints and get some merch for yourself here. We got t-shirts. We got jerseys. We got crewnecks. We got hoodies. We got whatever you want. We got flags, masks, a whole bunch of other stuff too. Go check it out. Cheer our boys on in the CRL and in our other titles as well. So uh, yeah, go check yourself out some merch. Acquire.ca slash Saints. And uh, 
our sponsors. Can't forget about them as well. Oh, no, you cannot. So starting us off will be Crunchyroll. They joined us here in September, and they have been phenomenal since. They are essentially the Netflix of anime here. And uh, you guys can get a 14-day premium trial for free at Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. I mean, who doesn't love free stuff here, John, right? I love so, free stuff. Uh, and great. any anime show you could want to watch, most likely on Crunchyroll here. So, guys, make sure you get your free trial. 14 days, Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. And can't forget about our other sponsors here as well. So, shout out to Tim Hortons, Subway, the Sinclair SRC, and the Sinclair College Alumni Association, as we won't be able to put on these broadcasts without them, as well as you viewers at home. I mean, you guys call, showing us constant love. I mean, I saw those Valorant numbers the other day. You guys were in here just showing so, so much love. And hey, if any of you guys from Seton Hall in the chat, we do love you guys. Thanks for coming in here as well. Thanks for showing your support and uh, being nice and friendly yeah, here in the sure. chat. We do we really appreciate, appreciate that one so, so much. Uh, regardless, though, John, any final words? Uh, no, I think St. Clair, pretty solid victory all throughout a couple of tense moments, but they ended up clutching it out. We saw um, the second time in two series we've had a last-second goal um, that's ended up winning them a game, and i like to see some more of that going up forward. I think the rest of the CRL is going to be looking scarily at St. Clair because they're putting statement wins together. Yeah, if we see more statement wins like this, I'm worried for my voice on Friday. True. Because uh, truthfully, I, CRL it makes me so, so energetic, and I'm so happy to see uh, you know already two games down and Saints looking to move on trucking with it so without further ado that will wrap us up for the evening thank you for joining me alongside uh john bilbangs with Dima. my name is jackson pride brown thank you guys so so much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys all on the next one has this ever happened to you you tune in to watch saints gaming compete at your favorite title but you end up missing it scrolling through twitter to find results is just such a chore and it looks like there's no easy way to find out everything you've missed luckily there's a solution hi Millie Bays here, and I'd like to introduce you to St. Clair's Bird's Eye View, the number one show to keep up with everything about Saints gaming. Get weekly recaps, see great highlights, hear exclusive interviews with players and staff, and so much more. That's Bird's Eye View, available in podcast or video form at a website near you.